Hey YouTube, this is Jason again, and today we'll be going over antiarrhythmics. Today's going to be a really short video because I'm not going into an in-depth explanation for the mechanisms of action for these medications, nor am I going over a technique or a method to memorize their indications or when we will use them. This video is more of a way to help you memorize the Vaughn Williams classification system for antiarrhythmics. The purpose of my videos is to help me memorize information while I study, and hopefully during that process it will help you as well if you are a PA student or even a medical student. So let's get started. Here's the Vaughn Williams classification table. I'll leave this up for a moment so you can take a screenshot, or if you want you can pause the video and take the screenshot. But as you can see, it's quite a bit, and I'm hoping that the mnemonic that I'm about to teach you will make it easier for you to memorize this information. So as you saw the last slide, antiarrhythmics are breaking down into five classes under the Vaughn Williams classification system. The mnemonic I use is McDonald's, LOLs, at bananas, and milk. Damn. McDonald's, LOLs, at bananas, and milk. Damn. So this mnemonic was taught to me in my first year as a PA student by one of the medical students. It really helped me with the Vaughn Williams classification system, and I'm hoping it'll help you. It may not work for everybody because everybody's brain works a little bit differently, but let's go over it anyways and see how this mnemonic works. So McDonald's is your class one antiarrhythmics. Lowell's is your class two. Bananas is your class three, and milk is class four, and finally, damn, is class five. So your class one antiarrhythmics I associate with McDonald's because McDonald's food is really unhealthy for you. It's salty and high in sodium. In this class, there are three subclasses, 1A, 1B, and 1C, which we will go over at the end of the presentation. Class 2 antiarrhythmics are your beta blockers, which all end in LOL. The one thing you want to memorize in this class is that the cardioselective or the beta 1 selective beta blockers include bisoprolol, esmolol, atenolol, and metoprolol, otherwise known as the beam beta blockers. Your class 3 antiarrhythmics are your potassium channel blockers which I associate to bananas because they are a common source of potassium and many people associate bananas with potassium. Agents included in this class are amiodarone, ibutilide, and dronderone. Your class four antiarrhythmics include the calcium channel blockers. Associate this class with milk because milk is a common source of calcium and many people associate milk with calcium. For this class, you need to know that the antiarrhythmics are the non-dihydropyridines, verapamil, and diltiazem. If it is a calcium channel blocker that ends in pine or pine, it is not an antiarrhythmic. Your class 5 antiarrhythmics are your other agents, which is DAM. That simply stands for digoxin, adenosine, and magnesium sulfate. So here you can see the mnemonic laid out for you. McDonald lolls at bananas and milk. Damn, that's cold. Because McDonald's is kind of mocking banana and milk because they're healthy. Because McDonald's is so unhealthy for you. So it laughs at bananas and milk. That's how I have it stuck in my head. So let's quickly go over the class 1 subclasses. 1A, 1B, and 1C. As you will recall, class 1 are your sodium channel blockers associated with McDonald's because their food is high in sodium and really bad for you. So let's make an order at McDonald's. Let's order a double quarter pounder with lettuce, mayo, and fries, please. This is a mnemonic that just helps you memorize the medications that fall within each subclass. So the yellow letters are your class 1A medications. The green letters are your class 1B, and the orange letters are your class 1C. Here are the medications in each class. Here you can see subclass 1A has the medications disulpyramide, 
quinidine and procanamide. Subclass 1b has lidocaine and mexilatine. And finally, subclass 1c has flecainide and propafenone. And there you have it, the Von Williams classification system for antiarrhythmics. You can go back to this table here for a better explanation when they're indicated in the types of situations we would use or choose those specific antiarrhythmics. Other than that, I'm hoping you're having a good day. Please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks.